Okay, our next speaker is the executive director of the National Libertarian Party. Speaker at the 2007 Boston Tea Party rally that raised six million dollars for Ron Paul. She's led two Massachusetts and the income tax ballot initiatives that won 45% of the votes. She led another to cut in half the Massachusetts sales tax. All right, big fan back there. She forced the teachers union to spend $12 million just to keep taxes from going down. Almost beat Republican in her Senate race against Ted Kennedy. She debated Mitt Romney in 2002 in her campaign for governor. She is the nation's most outspoken whistleblower of Romney's tax hikes, spending increases, and Romney care. Please welcome Carla Howell. delegates and advocates for liberty, you are heroes of the new American Revolution. What Ron Paul supporters have accomplished against all odds is phenomenal and inspiring. You are principled, committed, and strong. You are brave, skillful, and relentless. Your efforts to advance freedom, peace, and a vitalized economy have been one of the greatest achievements in modern American history. Within the big government Republican Party, you elected delegates, liberty delegates, winning incredibly impressive majorities in well over five states, including Mitt Romney's Massachusetts. Libertarians, many of whom actively support Ron Paul, have been cheering you on. We're thrilled by your many successes. We admire what you're doing. We love what you're doing. To Dr. Ron Paul and to Ron Paul supporters who have fought to elect delegates, fought to elect GOP state committee members and officers, rallied and campaigned for Ron Paul, and fought the many obstacles placed in your way for your dedication and your stellar accomplishments. I speak for thousands of libertarians when I say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I have one question about Mitt Romney and Dr. Ron Paul, a question everyone here needs to ask themselves. If Ron Paul had won 40 state delegations, if he were going to be the nominee, as he should be, would he try to cheat Mitt Romney of, out of his five states? Would he try to disqualify his delegates? Would he use underhanded, dishonest, un-American ploys to keep Mitt Romney from having a floor speech? What would Ron Paul do? The honorable thing. The same elitist big government Republicans who vote to keep big government big, who vote to keep us at war, who vote to violate our most personal freedoms, and who vote to bilk Americans through the Federal Reserve, lied to you, disqualified you, they played every game in the book that they could credibly get away with, or that they think they can get away with, to stand in your way. But you did so well that they had to cheat you out of your five-state victory. We understand and appreciate what you're dealing with. The Libertarian Party has been fighting highly discriminatory, rigged, and unfair ballot access laws for 40 years. The Republicans are trying to do it again. They're doing the same thing to us again. 
in Pennsylvania. They're trying anyway. They're trying to do this to Libertarian presidential nominee, two-term Governor Gary Johnson, and his vice presidential running mate, 25 years Superior Court Judge Jim Gray. I will introduce you shortly to him. A battery of Republican lawyers are doing everything they can to throw the Libertarian candidates off the ballot, despite the fact that we turned in more than twice the signatures needed to get on the ballot. It's one of the thousands of battles we have fought. We're fighting them hard, just as you have fought hard, and we're thrilled that you refuse to back down. Quit is not a word in the Ron Paul Dictionary. That's what makes Ron Paul supporters great American patriots. The same establishment Republicans who cheated Ron Paul now want you to get behind Mitt Romney. If you want to understand Mitt Romney, think of everything Ron Paul stands for, and then think of the opposite. Mitt Romney is the anti-Ron Paul. He opposes everything that liberty-minded Americans stand for. I suffered under Mitt Romney as my governor for four years, and I know just how that man operates. If you want to know how Mitt Romney will govern, if elected, look how he treated the Ron Paul delegates. If he's in the White House for four or eight years, that's how he'll treat voters. He's a man with no political principles who will say anything to get elected. Mitt Romney keeps claiming that he never raised taxes in Massachusetts. He's lying to you and he's lying to voters. He raised dozens of taxes in Massachusetts every year he was governor. He makes Barack Obama look tax phobic. Mitt Romney and Barack Obama are two peas in a pod. If voters send Mitt Romney to the White House, he'll do his damnedest to wipe out the Ron Paul movement in America. Don't let him do it. America needs the Ron Paul revolution now more than ever. Stay in the game, stay active. Your activism has created a huge awareness among voters in the country. Voters who have been asleep for decades. You woke them up. If not for Ron Paul activists, there would be no bill passed in the House to audit the Federal Reserve. If not for Ron Paul activists, who would know that the Federal Reserve gave away $16 trillion to banks around the world? If not for Ron Paul activists, there would be no awareness, no buzz around Ron Paul's brilliant plan to restore America, which contains a gold mine of libertarian solutions to shrink government. Cut a trillion dollars from federal spending in the first year and move quickly to eliminate the deficit. Eliminate federal departments of energy, HUD, commerce, interior, and education. Abolish the TS TSA. Abolish corporate subsidies, end foreign aid, end foreign wars, lower, lower the corporate tax rate, extend all the Bush tax cuts, abolish the death tax, end taxes on personal savings, repeal Obamacare, repeal Dodd-Frank, repeal Sarbanes-Oxley, curb government regulations, enable competing currencies, and fully audit the Federal Reserve. It's brilliant! Ron Paul's bold proposal to downsize big government is a brilliant plan and yet humane. It cuts what needs to be cut first and leaves until last the subsidies that people are now dependent upon. Mitt Romney and Barack Obama do the opposite. They blackmail voters. They threaten to cut for the most needy first while protecting their special interest pals who will help them get elected. Ron Paul's brilliant and fair solutions to America's problems are being talked about and taken seriously because of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Now, we can see the handwriting on the wall at this Republican convention. You're being cheated and mistreated, and it's not fair. I'm going to ask you to do something. We love Ron Paul. We honor Dr. Ron Paul. He should be President of the United States. But after Mitt Romney wins the nomination this week, the only way you can make it clear that you will not back down is to vote for the Libertarian candidate, two-term Governor Gary Johnson. A vote for Gary Johnson is a vote for Ron Paul. The only way to keep the fight going is to vote for Libertarian for President, Governor Gary Johnson. Your vote for Governor Gary Johnson is a vote for Ron Paul. We know it, you know it, the American people will know it, and Mitt Romney will learn it. Mitt Romney selected as his running mate Congressman Ro Paul Ryan, author of The Ryan pa Plan, which increases tax collections by 88%, which increases tax collections by $2.4 trillion. Would Ron Paul ever make that kind of a choice? Not in a million years. And neither would his friend, Libertarian presidential candidate, Governor Gary Johnson. Governor Gary Johnson selected for his vice presidential running mate, a man who respects the Constitution, who loves the America that you love, a man of principle and one heck of a nice guy. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure.